Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. I'm so glad you could join me today. I have for you a card that is from the Hand Pen Suite and it is my blog hop entry for the month of June. And effective today, which is Tuesday the 15th, uh, my Ingenuity Inkers blog hop is open, so you'll want to go to my blog www.inkandingenuity.com and everybody's working with a hand pen suite this time and I think we have oh, between 8 and 10 people finally uh, on the blog hop this time, so you're going to get to see some very unique takes on this by members of my team. We're very excited to do this today. And by design, this blog hop video starts at 10 o'clock Mountain Time, so I'm a bit late for my normal Tuesday uh, video, which I usually put up at 8 o'clock on Tuesdays, but everybody's going to publish at the same time all across the country, so we're going to do it at 10 o'clock Mountain Time. And so my card is one that says anything is possible and on the inside it says you are unique and completely amazing. And so uh, let's just get started. Here is my card and I'm going to change up just a tiny bit of it um, in that we finally have gotten in uh, that were on back orders these in color jewels and we have the purple, we have the yellow, we have the greens, and the fuchsia. And so uh, I will be using these as the pieces in here for decoration. And the only other thing is I decided that I like this purple piece to go all the way to the end. And what's different about this card, uh, while it says anything is anything is possible and we have this beautiful die cut across the top here you all liked so well having something on the back this is a continuous piece of paper that then folds over again and comes into the inside of the card and I'm not going to turn this piece around I'm going to have that piece come in a full inch on this side and so that is what's a little bit different about this one so what it takes to make this card is let's see we need a base of thick whisper white that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter then i have a piece of highland heather and this piece of highland heather is cut five and a quarter by four and an eighth so it will fit on here with borders on three side, but come all the way to the end, almost like an infinity edge. Then our designer series paper for this is cut five inches by nine and a quarter. And that is going to fit on the front of my card, fold around the back of the card, and then fold into the inside of the card. And so I'll show you how to score that to make that happen. And then you'll need a piece of scrap yellow for the back of our sentiment label. And then I have a little piece of Highland Heather to cut out. These two dies come from the Stitched So Sweetly. Then this die comes from the artistry dies from the artistry and blooms isn't that just a gorgeous piece and it was so big and open and airy i thought it worked particularly well with this so we need a piece of highland heather that is a scrap that is big enough to cut this piece out of and you'll see i think this piece is yeah four and a half inches wide and you see it fits on there quite comfortably and it would work to be four inches by four and a half so you could cut one strip of four and get several out if you wanted to 
Okay, so that's what it takes. Let's start with the scoring. So on the scoring, what we want is this piece of card to come from this end and get all the way to the end here. And that makes this piece, let me put it on here so I can get the measurement exactly. That puts it right at four inches. So I'm going to score this piece at four inches using my scoring blade. And then on this far side, uh, we'll just wrap that around and then score it when we see what it is. You lose a tiny bit as you kind of go around the corners. So this one, we're going to fold this way. And so the very first thing we can do is go ahead and put our piece on here and we can just add some seal. I'm going to use seal in this case and put seal kind of all the way around on this one and then put that in place so that it is flush with this edge and gives us a similar border all the way around. I have to wiggle that one in place. That might have been better to do with Tombow. There we go. But there is our piece. Next is adding this piece. So I'm going to add a bead of seal along the um, the outside edge and in just in on the folded edge or the uh, scored edge and put that in place. There we go. And then fold that around. Isn't that fun to do that just a little bit differently? And then I'm going to start by creasing on this side, finger creasing that last fold right in there and I can use my bone folder. You have to be careful. It is designer series paper and so is a little bit more delicate than cardstock. And now on this side I'm going to add a little bit of seal on the back and then a little bit more down this edge. Okay. Now we're going to wrap that around the back of the card. How fun is it to have something on the back of the card? And then we're going to fold it here with our finger press and put that in place right along here. Isn't that fun? All right, so there we go. There we have our piece. And the only thing on it, I didn't do is put my ribbon on. So uh, let's see what I can get done. Let me get my ribbon first of all, which is the grow grain, this beautiful purple grow grain ribbon. And maybe we can just adapt that and make it a little bit more interesting. Let me get my, oops, I don't have my ribbon scissors. I had card class yesterday or Saturday, and so I've got supplies all over the place. But if we were to put this in place right along this edge and then cut this so that we have a little piece here and then we'll need to cut so that it has a little piece here and just put some tape down on the back side of this and I'm going to go ahead and put the seal down. It's very sticky, but I really want that to stay put. So I'm going to set that down right on the edge of that paper and put that into place. Looks like I'm going to have to cut this edge a little bit and come straight across. That's better. Okay, there we go. So. We've got that on, and let me tell you how long that piece ended up being. 
from point to point, it is five and three eighths. Five and three eighths, and then cut to the point, and cut to the point, and that should do it. And so there is part of our decoration for the inside of the card. Isn't that fun? Now, on these two pieces, what we're going to do is stamp our anything is possible. And I'm doing that in, high, in um, gorgeous grape because I want it dark enough to really see it. So it's on this piece. Anything is possible. And if you stamp that kind of in the middle of a piece of scrap, then there is plenty of room for your die to fit around that. And that's what we're going to do. And so I have my pieces already stamped and cut. So I have these pieces ready to go. And I've already cut my delicate little flower. Isn't that pretty? So one more little bit of stamping before we get away too far from stamping here. And um, we are going to stamp you are unique and completely amazing. I thought that was so good um, and that you could use it for all different kinds of things, um, even for a birthday. You could put that on the front and put birthday or on the inside. So there it is. You are unique and completely amazing. And we are going to add that to the inside of this card right up here at the top. And there we have our inside done. All right. Now, to the outside, what we're going to do is just add, well, let me put this ink away. We're going to add this piece to our yellow banner here. I just love this stitch so sweetly. It works for so many things. And get that centered in there and then I am going to put that down with a couple of dimensionals. Okay so the next thing we need is a little piece of ribbon and what I did was I cut a piece that was, I don't know, that's probably close to four inches, and it's more than I need, but I want to cut my angle ends here like this. And have that be on the bottom of this piece that I'm where I'm putting my sentiment so I'm going to put it right down here and I'm going to do that with a couple of glue dots and so I'm going to take oops take a glue dot and put it inside the ribbon so that I get my ribbon ends folded the way I want. I've got a little bit of stray ribbon there that needs to be trimmed. There we go. And then I'm going to take another glue dot, maybe even two, one towards the top of my ribbon, and then one more further down. And I'm going to <laughs> That's about determined to stick to me. I should have left those pieces of paper on there. And I'm going to set that right down here, sort of aimed at that corner. Then this piece needs to go on next because that is going to be bigger than um, the space I have there. And I did that this way. So this rose is up towards the top 
and the only thing that gets cut off is a little bit of this big flower and this stuff down here. So on that one, I'm going to use my dot runner mostly along the edges and places where there is a little bit more um, cardstock and put that in place right down here, kind of filling up that whole upper part of the card. Isn't that pretty? And then this piece is going to go right down here at the bottom. And this one I'm moving over a little bit further to the center. But there we go. That is our card. Now you can use your gum eraser if there's any little bits of glue that look like they're showing. This is one of those touches that I think is so important when you're putting your card together because it just makes it look so much more professional if the glue is completely hidden from view um, on your card. You just want to be real careful. Um, uh, I tore a little piece off there. It, it doesn't show on here, but um, it's fairly delicate. Okay, in fact, that whole thing looks just a little bit like it needs to go up a hair. There we go. All right. So there is the front of our card, and what a treat. These gems are now back in. So I have yellow, and I have purple, and I have green. I have just all kinds of them here, and I'm going to take the whole package out. Well, I think I'm going to take the whole package out. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to put yellow ones on the center of this. I'm going to be ordering packages of this by the dozens. I just love these little rhinestones. They are so pretty. And they're kind of um, iridescent. So they'll pick up lots of different colors. Oh, I guess I need my pick tool. <laughs> Can't pick these up. I'm going to put several of these in that flower center. There. So there's several of those in there, in the yellow. And then I love this um, purple here. So we're going to add a couple of those around on the card itself. go. There is my card and my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. I just realized that this whole label is on here upside down. So I'm going to try and rescue that and turn it around. How funny is that? Boy, anything is possible. Isn't that the theme for the day? So now it's on there the right way. <laughs> so anything is possible. Thank you again so much for stopping by my YouTube studio today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. Joining is always a good idea uh, with Stampin' Up! $125 worth of product for $99 buys you your starter kit. Um, we have all kinds of resources on the team to help you um, enjoy your stamping, whether you're a hobby demonstrator or you would like to do more with it as a business or something in between. I have a lot of people that are basically hobby demonstrators but put their cards in a shop and maybe have an occasional class. So um, 
uh, just let me know. My information is always listed below the video. Give me a holler anytime, and I'd love to chat with you about it. So that's it for me. I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Be sure to go to my blog, uh, subscribe to the videos, uh, that does help me, and then go to my blog and look at what the rest of my team has done on the blog hop with this lovely suite. Thanks again. Bye.